Hey everybody, it's the Lawn Gnome, and I'm coming to you guys with a very special video. I'm actually doing a video response to a person that I am subscribed to, and she is subscribed to me. She's one of the newer YouTubers on the scene, yet she's already gotten more subscribers than I ever would have imagined, and I congratulate her in regards to that. Her name is Superchick360, and I will put a link to her channel below. I highly suggest that you check her out. She reviews a lot of her Blu-ray and her collections that she purchases, and she's an awesome science fiction and comic book fan, so that's her, and she's doing this contest because she got a thousand subscribers, and it's actually coming to a close on the 12th, so that means I got a day and a half to actually get this video up, so I'm going to do that literally in the next hour or two. But I just wanted to give her the answers to these four questions for her contest for reaching 1,000 subscribers, and it's an awesome DVD box version of E.T. It's got like a whole spaceship and everything. You'll get a link to the video as well. But I just wanted to answer the questions for the heck of it. And there are four questions besides being a subscriber. Uh, the first question is, who is your favorite superhero? It shouldn't be a surprise, but it is Batman. But it's not because of the fact that he has no superpowers, or that he has all the cool gadgets, or that he has the best superpower in the world, which is his mind. It's just Everything that is connected to Batman, everything from the campy Adam West show and the Super Friends in the 1960s and 70s, all of the amazing things that came out in the 90s, like the Tim Burton films, close to the Christopher Nolan movies, as well as the Bruce Tim animated series, but in comic books, he has some of the greatest legacies ever. Some of the greatest stories, like... A Death in the Family, Nightfall, The Dark Knight Returns, The Long Halloween, etc. The fact that he has this incredible rogues gallery, and his rogues always intrigue me just because of the fact that, sure, some of them are extremely insane, but these are doctors and problem solvers. These are some of the biggest scientific brains that are being locked away in Arkham Asylum, and it just amazes me. Like, perfect examples are the fact that the Mad Hatter was a neuroscientist, and Scarecrow was a psychologist, and the fact that Mr. Freeze was also a scientist who worked with cryogenics. It's just amazing to know that these are his villains, and they're not some run-of-the-mill wackos. Well, maybe, except for the Joker, but... The other reason why I love Batman so much is because of the fact that Mark Hamill from Star Wars was no longer typecasted amongst his nearest and dearest fans. He is the Joker. Heath Ledger also gave us an amazing depiction and so many great actors filling the shoes of these villains as well as Batman and Robin themselves. It's just a great hero and his legacy is one for the ages. The second question is, who is your favorite action star? Well, that's Bruce Willis. Because he has been in some of my favorite films like The Fifth Element and Sin City, but I like him because while he's an action star, he's so diverse. He can do comedy, he can do drama, he can do children's films. If you've never seen the DreamWorks animated film Over the Hedge, you have to see it. It is so funny, and he is such a great character in that film. Sin City and The Fifth Element are two of my favorite movies. Red is another great movie that he was in. And heck, you can even go to the movies like Die Hard, which I'm not a fan of. But he's just done so much, and I really appreciate what he's done, who he's worked with. He's worked with some of the greatest minds in directing, especially one being Quentin Tarantino. And that's why I really appreciate him so much, just because of how diverse he is. The third question is, who is your favorite Disney villain? That is Sid from Toy Story, because he's not necessarily a villain. If you really take a look at Toy Story from the human perspective, Sid is just a preteen that is just acting like a preteen boy. He likes to blow stuff up. Boys will be boys. Boys are the ones that burn ants with magnifying glasses and rip their toys apart to see how they work. They like loud music. They like fireworks. Sid, while the toys may be terrified of him, 
He's just a regular preteen teenage kid. And that's what I love so much about Pixar films, just because of how gray the villains can be at certain times. And the last question in the four that she had asked all of us is, what is your favorite item in your collection? And it could be whatever you choose. I had to think really long about this, and I decided that it is my Lord of the Rings extended edition trilogy just because of everything that comes with the movies themselves. I like the fact that each and every one of the films is... They're boxes, they look like books. I like the fact that the special features that come with it are just a movie epic in itself. And I like the textures that come in each and every one of them. They're very, very different. When you take a look at the paper materials that come with each of these three films, each one has a different texture to make you feel like you are actually holding something from a different part of Middle-earth. It's quite phenomenal. And all the Easter eggs that are included in these movies, I mean, I can go on and on, and I've already done a review of The Fellowship of the Ring and The Two Towers. I will be doing one of Return of the King in the coming months before the year is over, but I've also done my take on the two first Hobbit films, and there will be a review of The Battle of the Five Armies once I've seen it. So, Super Chick, thank you very much for letting me just at least do this and answer these questions. I'm not looking to win the prize, but I just love answering these awesome questions that so many people give, and congratulations on your 1,000 subscribers. I am hoping to see you hit 2,000 really soon, and I'm hoping that I can be up there with you in the soon-to-be YouTube Elite while I'm still knocking on the door of 500 subscribers. Thank you very much, and thank you all for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, check it out. I do film reviews, music reviews, television reviews, top 10 lists, and I'm probably one of my biggest claim to fames is my segment of Out of the Vault, in which I review the Disney classics, as well as my documentaries, which is one per year. Actions speak louder than words. Thank you once again.